Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of uh, the day on this uh, beautiful, beautiful Saturday. Guys, it is hot AF right now here in LA. I think we are like at 80 something degrees. Tomorrow we are expecting 88, almost 90, and like. <sighs> If you know, you know, okay? Like, a bitch doesn't do well on the heat. I'm about to go and invernate and, like, put myself into a hole, hopefully until full. Like, this is already, like, way too much. But, like, you know what? You know what? I'm going with it. Today is a very special day. Today we are celebrating my birthday here in LA. So I'm having my whole party. Um, I took a lot of, you know that I took a lot of my birthday's ideas from Summer House and they did, you know, that out of this war party. So I was like, you know what? Let's do the Ratchet Ghetto version, you know, the no Bravo budget version of it, you know, and throw a, like an out of this war party for my birthday. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm decorating the whole house. I have a whole party, a lot of people coming in tonight <laughs> just for like a little bit of the pregame. I'm literally going to be doing the same that they do on Summer House. I'm going to be like partying here at my house for like four hours and then going out to West Hollywood and get cray cray today okay like that is literally the whole idea i'm probably gonna be posting like some things here and there um on my personal instagram andy.shademan if you want to like go and check it out but anyways guys how are you i hope that you are having a lot of fun summer is here it is officially summer and we are ready to get burn a bitch all right it is time to talk about the real housewife of a uh, berry hills because you know <sighs> i have to tell you guys i'm i don't want to say worried but i feel that there is nothing really going on this season you know like i talk to a lot of people here on berry hills you know so i i'm pretty much up to date to everything that is happening, the dramas, who is fighting with who, what is happening with who, you know, and there is not a lot of things going on right now, you know, Kyle Richards did came on one of her famous, you know, um, Amazon Live and tried to put a little bit of like things out there about the relationship, the shifting and the friendships, you know, and all of that. And then she also like on another interview with US Weekly also said that, oh, you know, things, the dynamics and the group, you know, are changing and it's not the same. And basically kind of like, like right now, the only drama that we have going on on Burberry Hills Oh, sorry guys, it's between, oh, I'm, I'm hungry, I haven't eaten anything today, the only drama that we have right now is between Kyle and Dorit Kemsley, which, look, it could be either very good or it's not gonna give us anything, okay, there, there is not in between when it comes to this kind of drama, because, um, I don't know how real they are willing to, to go okay so let me like this for example one what kyle says she says the dynamics have shifted tremendously this year you know uh she's talking of course about dorit and sutton struck kyle thinks she and dorit should be supporting each other as they both undergo similar situations but that's not the case kyle and dorit are separated from their husbands mauricio and pk respectively and she says unfortunately that's not where we are at right now in our relationship we're both going through different but similar situations so it is unfortunate that we are in this position while things are not great with the read cal says the new women jennifer tilly and bosoma st jones joining the mix have created a very interesting group overall we're just sort of starting out. Like I said, the dynamic has shifted, but they are constantly shifting and changing. So we will see where we end up. Uh, I mean, 
it doesn't even sound interesting coming from Kyle. I mean, I'm a, I am I have to say, because you know that I love Beret Hills. I love this lady so much. I want it to be extremely successful, but I am worried. Okay, at this point, if Crystal Minkoff was still part of the show, I think we will already have another set of drama, you know, because Crystal was ready to come for Dorit. Crystal was ready to come for Erica Jane. You know, the, I mean, I think the situations will be a little bit different. I still don't understand why they decided to let Crystal go and like make this shift right now because there is nothing really going on. And I'm, I'm really, really kind of like trying to, you know, um, support this whole Bosoma St. John uh, situation because I heard that she is very opinionated, that she has a lot of things to say, you know. But I also heard that she is very, very concerned about her image and about how she will be perceived by the world, which is not a good thing when you are becoming a housewife because that usually translates into not being real and into not doing what it needs to be done for reality TV, you know? So I don't know. I'm still a little like I'm a little bit everywhere because I want big. I mean, I don't want big, big dramas. I mean, I think once in a while is good, but I also like we do need some kind of drama going on. And again, the Kyle and Dorit situation is it will be interesting if they allow it to be interesting. But if they're not going to be having full on conversations, full on fights, full on like letting everyone says whatever they want to say. It could be it could be dangerous, you know. Mike John is saying anything. This is I, I feel like Andy Cohen when Dorit Kemsley is talking, like literally like that, talking about this. I don't know. Now, Kathy Hilton is back, which is a great, great addition. You know that I love my Kathy Hilton, you know. And uh, you know Kathy will never get into the drama. Plus, I feel that Kathy is joining rejoining the show literally to be a support of Kyle Richards, which she needs a lot right now. I feel that, you know, Kathy, I think Kathy, every single time that she has joined the show is because she has a purpose on it, you know? Her first purpose was to, like, take care of Lisa Rena. Thank God she did it, you know? She, thank God she kind of, like, uh, was able to make Kyle, like, open up her eyes a little bit. Now I feel that her new, like, goal is to just support Kyle into, like, this transition, you know? Because the reality, the show, it's, like, Kyle's life. And I know that I think that Ka that Kathy understands that this is very important for her sister. You know, and that's why she really, really wants to, like, be there for her and, and support her because she knows that she's needed right now. There is nothing going on. Like, of course, we need big names you know this will be the perfect moment for lisa vanderpump to return to the show but like i don't know right uh even kyle says that kathy she is off to the races she says that uh she's very supportive of camera and very funny on camera she tries to keep the light her main goal right now because of what i have been going through is to try to make me laugh which is you know the way that kathy loves to support her sister. Um, yes, I don't know, guys. How do you feel? How do you feel? I feel like like we need just something, just a little something that is going to be like, damn, I cannot wait. Because to be very honest with you, the whole PK and Dorit separation is not giving enough. Is not giving enough to like for me to be anxious and waiting for the new season already to be here. Anyways, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to the Real House of Beverly Hills or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.